So adenoviral conjunctivitis is actually fairly common. Um, the common presenting features are a red eye, tearing. Um, a lot of times we ask and they say they have crusting of their eyes, uh, eyelids when they wake up first thing in the morning. And itching is a hallmark of this. A delayed diagnosis of adenoviral conjunctivitis generally doesn't have too much consequence. Occasionally, patients end up with some corneal findings um, and they'll get maybe some subconjunctival scarring if it's a very severe case. But in my opinion, the biggest consequence of uh, not diagnosing this early if a patient comes in is that it's super contagious. Um, and so if you send them back to their work environment, then you may have 30 people coming back in. Um, with the same diagnosis, and this is especially problematic in the healthcare profession where not only will employees but also patients can get infected, and that's not really good. So, adenoviral conjunctivitis um, has uh, two phases that we actually have to deal with. One is the acute infectious phase, and that's tougher because um, we don't have any really good treatments for um, eradicating adenovirus itself. There are a couple of uh, um, experimental uh, things under investigation right now. One is a combination of dexamethasone and povidone iodine, um, which might help eradicate the infection faster, and the dexamethasone might cut down some of the inflammation. Um, Cydofovir has been tried in the past as an antiviral, but hasn't shown very good success. But some trials that are just coming out on Brin Cydofovir um, have actually shown some very good um, efficacy against uh, systemic adenoviral infection. Not specifically the eye, but systemic. And so I think we have a couple of options that may be coming around the corner. What we generally are concerned with in dealing with adenovirus, because it's one of those things like having the flu, you kind of have to let your body run its course, um, is the sequelae to the cornea that can happen afterwards. And they can get these subepithelial infiltrates that can be very, very symptomatic. Patients um, have a lot of uh, photophobia, potentially decreased vision and watering, and they think that the adenoviral infection is back, where it's really an inflammatory reaction. And they respond very, very well to topical steroids, but the problem is if you treat them with steroids, it can be very, very difficult to get them off of the steroids, and they become dependent on it. Um, and so I try personally not to treat them if they don't have central um, uh, infiltrates or if they don't have too many and aren't too symptomatic. They will run its course and they'll go away. But it, there's a theoretical possibility that these uh, infiltrates can leave scarring behind, and so I wouldn't want to leave a potential for having scarring in the central part of the cornea that might lead to decreased vision. So sometimes we do have to treat them, and if we treat them with steroids and we can't get them off of it, we can transition to a steroid sparing agent such as cyclosporin or tacrolimus um, that can help us transition them off over a long period of time. The subepithelial infiltrates are very, very steroid responsive. And so you give them two doses of it and you'll make them all go away. But the problem is if you stop the steroids, sometimes they come back. And I've had patients refer to me who have been on and off steroids for as long as seven years trying to get them off of these steroids. And so I try not to start patients on it unless they're very, very symptomatic or if the, the infiltrates are central and they might leave scarring, which is unusual, but it's theoretically possible. Um, if I do have to start them on steroids, I tell them to be aware that there might be a very prolonged tapering time. And sometimes I might have to transition them to something like cyclosporin or tacrolimus to get them off the steroids, which can cause uh, uh, elevated intraocular pressures and glaucoma and cataract. Um, and then they might have to transition off of the uh, cyclosporin or tacrolimus slowly over some period of time.